The world first website was published in 1990. Comparing to today's website, it's really impressive to see how far we have come. In this video, we will travel back in time to see each step of web design evolution in the past 30 years. Let's check it out. Nineteen ninety was when the world first website was published. There were nothing much except a few texts and links. Also, at the time, the available public web browser was not graphical but text only, called line mode browser. So here is what was the website looked like. Nineteen ninety two was when the first image was posted online. It was edited with Photoshop before uploaded into the internet. In 1993, Mosaic, the world's first public graphical browser was available. This was when the landing page design was introduced, and the first one who did this was MTV website. Here was their landing page. In 1994, one of the world's most popular browsers, Netscape, was launched. Netscape introduced easy access of the internet to the public, including graphical features like animated GIF image, text formatting, and table. W3C was also founded this year to create common standard for web development. 1995, the use of table to format the HTML structure was widely adopted. JavaScript was also introduced this year, starting the era of interactive content. 1996-1999 CSS1 was introduced and adopted during this period. Before that, all styles were coded in line into the HTML. So CSS is the first step to separate content and presentation and has become the foundation of today's web design and development. Rounded corner image was a very popular trend as border radius was not available until 10 years later. Uses of table to format the content had become a standard. And at that time, an imitation of 3D effect can be created using images like this. JavaScript was mainly used to create page effects like snowfall or fireworks. Flash was also a cutting-edge technology to create website animation at that time. In 2000, Flash 5 and ActionScript 1 were introduced. This was the beginning of animated content and Flash game. Also, the first draft of CSS3 specification was published during this year. Two thousand one, SVG format was introduced. This is the first vector image format for the website. It can be written in XML. Two thousand three, first version of WordPress was created this year, marked the beginning of dynamic content and blogging era instead of static HTML page. In two thousand four, use of CSS Sprite was introduced by grouping together smaller images into one, then use background position to select which image to show. This helped reduce the number of HTML requests and size, allowing web designer to put more graphical content on the page. In 2006, the first CSS preprocessor, SAS, was created this year extending CSS features and allow web designer to create more complex effect. In 2007, CSS grid layout was introduced, marked the end of table and floating dev era. In 2009, CSS Flexbox was introduced, allowing a designer to create flexible layout without worrying about alignment and spacing. 
A minimal web design concept was also first introduced this year. In 2010, the birth of responsive design, instead of creating a separate mobile site, the same content could be used in different layouts depending on the screen size. Google Font was also launched this year and creating typographic concept to be used in web design. In 2011, with influence of Windows 8, Metro or Flat Design was very popular. Bootstrap CSS Framework was also released this year, increasing web design and development speed dramatically. In 2012, Media Query was introduced this year, offering CSS ability to track the screen size which is the core of responsive design. Parallax scrolling concept was also introduced this year. In 2014 was a year of 3D. A stable and complete version of WebGL was launched, allowing 3D rendering with GPU power using JavaScript. Additionally, CSS 3D Transform was starting to become very popular this year too. 2015, HTML5 became widely adopted, and in this year, YouTube decided to drop Flash Player and use HTML5 Player instead. CSS3 animation and transition were introduced this year, allowing fluid and responsive buttons and menus. In 2016, this year was a rise of many more design. Lots of web designers tend to drop everything down to only basic elements. Mobile first and thumb friendly design were also widely adopted this year. 2007 to present, due to maturity of design tools, we started to see lots of various design techniques to impress us. Asymmetrical design, broken grid layout, animated background using video or WebGL. And that's the past 30 years, from just text website to stunning real-time 3D rendering. It's exciting to wait and see what's coming in the next 10 or 20 years. And that's all for this video. Feel free to subscribe to stay tuned with us for development tips and tutorial videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!